the we can so that you can figure out how to calculate the average atomic mass of an element. Um, the whole reason that we do this is because each version of an atom is only present in certain amounts. And so whenever, you know, if you had, say, you have, you know, oh, don't laugh at my drawing, but you have a little copper penny. Here's his top hat. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> but anyways, you have a penny. One cent. Uh, and it's coated in copper. And the copper that coats this penny is a mixture of copper... Uh, 63 and copper 65, the two known versions of copper. But it's not half copper 63 and half copper 65. It's actually copper 63 is present at about 70% and copper 65 is about 30%. That's a percentage sign, I swear. Uh, and so 70% of the copper atoms in here are copper 63, 30% are copper 65. Well, if you wanted to know the mass of the copper in here, you would have to find a weighted average. Just like when you calculate your grade for my class, you know, you take your test average and multiply it by 0.7, and then you add to that your daily average and multiply it by 0.3 to come up with your class average, your grade. You have to do the same thing here. So, how do you do that? <clears throat> Here's a few more sig figs for these. Um, the way that you calculate this is you take the mass of the element, multiply it by its percent abundance, take the other mass, multiply by its percent abundance, and then add those two numbers together. So multiply, multiply, add. And it looks like this. Copper 63 actually has a mass. I'm going to cut these off at four sig figs just because that's enough. So 62.93 AMUs times 69.17%. You would actually multiply that by 0.6917. And I'm going to add to that my other version of copper, which is 64.93 multiplied by point, whoops, 3083. Plug that into your calculator and you end up with 63.5466, but we're not allowed to have that many sig figs. These numbers right here only have four sig figs a piece, so you go one, two, three, four. Round according to that guy, and that tells me to round this 4 up to a 5, so my average atomic mass of copper is 63.55 AMUs. <clears throat> what if I didn't tell you what the element is? So I have an element, its three main isotopes are right here, 19.99, 20.99, and 21.99. What is the element? Well, okay, 9, 9, just go ahead and say that this one is 20, this is 21, and this is 22. It'll make the math a little bit less messy. And it's okay, since the question just asked, what's the element? All you have to do is be close. So I'm going to take this 20, and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.9051. So that's that one. Add to it the next one, 21 times 0 0.0027, add the last version, the last isotope, 22 times 0 0.0922. My correct answer in sig figs, I'm only allowed two sig figs anyways, so the correct answer ends up being 20. I look at the periodic table, find out which element has an average atomic mass of about 20 AMUs, and you see that it is neon. Yay, neon. Okay, so that was all that I had for the notes. I figured I could work out a couple of more practice problems just so you can see a few more of them worked out just in case you decide that you need it. Get my colors over here. And they are going to be, the first one is you have magnesium. Magnesium has three known isotopes. Magnesium 24 has a percent abundance of 
0.9%. Magnesium 25 is 10%. And magnesium 26 is 11.1%. What is the average atomic mass of magnesium? So take magnesium 24, 24 times, so, oh, point, 0.7890. Multiply this by 25 times 0 0.1000 plus 26 times 0.1110. Yes, I know, these masses are not exactly 24, 25, and 26. Um, 24 is actually 23.99. 25 is actually 24.99. 26 is actually 25.98. They're just a little bit lower, but for our purposes at this level, this works just fine. We don't need to carry it out that far. So this works out to be 24... 24.31 AMUs is the average atomic mass of magnesium. Then let's say I gave you an element, and that element had, uh, I, I want you to tell me what the element is, and it has one isotope has a mass number of 54, and that one's percent abundance is 5.8 percent, so we'll call this element element X. The next isotope is element 56, and that's percent abundance of 91.72 percent, so this is the main uh, version of this element. And then we have element 57, which has a percent abundance of 2.20. What's the element? So, same thing we just did. Take 54, times 0 0.0580, add to that 56 times 0 0.9172, oh, that should be a plus sign right there, sorry. Yeah, let me fix that, hang on. That's going to drive me bonkers. Okay, 9172 plus 57 times 0 0.0220. Plug this into your calculator, you end up with 55.7, basically, and that's AMUs. Go to your periodic table, look and see which element has a mass close to 55.7 AMUs, and you see that it is iron. Uh, if you have any more questions about how to calculate the average atomic mass of something, then uh, come in Monday morning and I'll help you best as I can. Y'all have an awesome weekend.